Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. First, I want to address this. It's driving me crazy, but I hurt my nail and it broke and it hurts so bad. I have no idea how I'm going to take this off. Like I want everything off. But, you know, for the sake of the video, we're going to pretend like it's not happening. And we're just going to get right to it. <laughs> First, let's start with my wallet as usual. So how's everyone doing? Um, I'm very grateful for everyone that commented on my last video and is just interacting with me. Definitely, I can relate to some of the struggles that a couple of people commented, especially with like random spending. I do find myself like dipping into some other envelopes when I don't have enough money. So that's why, that's why I've been giving myself a little bit extra on the spending. Um, on the spending category because I don't want to be doing that. I want to be realistic. Um, so let me just not skip. So Dunks is going to get 10. Of course, it has nothing. Every $5 that I have, I spend it on Dunks. I have a problem. Then spending is going to get 50. And it has 10 from last week and then the rollover that I'm going to put on my savings challenges. Then... Eating out is going to get 10. I think it still has 10 from last week. Let me see, did I did that in two fives? No, it's just a 10. So, yeah. So, guys, I have made a decision. So, I feel like this year I have not been first and foremost consistent. And second of all, my savings challenges. No, wait, hold on. Beating up. I know I started my 20K challenge, but things this year just happened one after the other, and my house budget has had to constantly be um, um, changed and, and, sorry, and like rearranged. How do you say? I cannot think of the word. <laughs> we constantly had have had to like adjust to the um, budget, and it's I've I've struggled this year. It's just been so hard. Um, I've been blessed lately to be able to pick up extra hours during the week on my job. Um, mainly working from home. It's a little annoying sometimes when you have to make like a bunch of phone calls and you're just letting the babies cry but at the same time I'm grateful because I can add you know a few extra hours and you guys have been seeing um on my lady on my latest videos so baby has a total of 100 that I've been you know cash stuffing a lot more than usual I will be starting school in a couple of weeks and I don't know how I'm gonna feel. I um, don't wanna be overdoing it. So literally it's going to get 10, it still have 30 from last week. So I think I'm just going to, next week I'm not gonna stuff it. I think I'm gonna slow down on the couponing as well because we're pretty much all set with the things that my husband and I need and, and the baby does as well. Giving is going to get five. It still has five from last week. So yeah, this year it's just been crazy. So what I was mentioning about my 20K challenge before I forget, um, and back to bank has 10. So I'm gonna put this here so that I know that I have to put it back into the bank. Um, it's just been challenging, um, 
and with the 20k challenge i feel like i'm always putting money toward it and not really seeing it add up so i think for the sake of this year i mean last year i felt more motivated and because you i could see the money building up on the smaller challenges like a 500 dollars challenge or like a 1000 dollars challenge and i was joining more like the monthly challenges but this year because i decided to take on one that was so big i didn't really participate in the smaller ones so um i think we're gonna close it out so i'm excited to see how much there is i love the envelopes and i definitely wanted to continue it but i think i'd rather just focus on saving what i can and um, it just made me feel bad sometimes when i just couldn't tackle the bigger numbers but you know it's just not the time for it we're just gonna put a pause and maybe i don't know maybe next year i decide to restart it emergency's not getting anything that i i take care of that right away so i don't i don't build up and then that's another thing so sunny's gonna get 25 as usual random but um I thought my Etsy shop was closed. I decided to close it just because I, you know, I wasn't getting orders and then I, I'm not consistent with videos, so I didn't really want to be like promoting it. And I randomly got an order, which I'm very grateful for. So I decided to go print it and my printer literally just broke, like right in front of my face. So I had to buy a new printer because I need it for school, I need it for work, and it literally like broke out of the blue. I had been having issues with it and it literally started giving me issues right the month after the warranty expired. How great is that? <laughs> so I had initially bought a printer which was like $180 and um, it was only like black ink. As That's how you can tell my knowledge in printer. I couldn't I didn't realize before I bought it that it didn't print in colors and I don't like that. So I had to go on the hunt for a different printer, return that one. Sun has a total of one, two, three, four, five, hundred. I mean, he has one thousand in the bag, but the 500 here, 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 200, so 700, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 and 60, 760. So yeah, so it has that. Then we did groceries and I think my grocery budget was 150. I will write it here how much I have. Um, and I don't know, like I started adding a couple things to make a dessert here and then a couple things that i wanted to try i wasn't hungry at all i usually i mean we we have been going over but when we upped our grocery budget to 150 we were fine and we ended up spending like 234 dollars so that's not great <laughs> um house has house will be getting 10 for a total of 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 5, 155. So that's like, you know, extra charge on my card. Um, then, you know, I, I think I left the story halfway, but I did find a printer, but I had to buy it. I could have taken out of one of my envelopes but I think I'm just gonna like um I, th I don't think health is getting anything this week I think I'm just gonna you know just pay it off as I go and then something else happened but to make the story short I think my credit card has like $600 right now and I know that's not horrible but I don't like it <laughs> Cause I like to be on top of it. So car is getting 200 and now it has a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. 1,250, 70, 90, 3, 10, 3, 30, 3, 50, 3, 70, 3, 90, 400. So 
This is 1,400. So, yeah, so it has about $600. I usually pay off my cards. I don't use more than $200 at the time. So this is definitely more, three times the balance that I am comfortable with. And it drives me, it makes me a little anxious, but at the same time, you know, that's why you have budgets. One month it works out, the other month if it doesn't, you move things around and you make it work. So I'm learning, I'm trying not to, you know, let this like discourage me. And that's kind of why I want the smaller saving challenges so that I don't feel bad if I cannot save $400 or $200 in a week. But I'm still saving, you know, and I'm grateful for that. Clothing got ten dollars, so it has a total of one, two, three, fifty, three, seventy, three, ninety, four hundred, four fifteen, four twenty, four thirty, four fifty. What? I counted that wrong. One, two, three hundred, three fifty, seventy, ninety, four hundred. 410, 420, 430, 440, 445. Definitely will be using this money because it's my grandmother's 80th birthday this Sunday and she wants us to dress a specific color, of course, which neither my husband, baby, or I have. So we're gonna have to buy some clothes. Am I mad about that? No. Of course not. All right, so that's it with this one. I'm traveling for well, my second binder. Travel is going to get, let me move this. So traveling is going to get $10. Oh, someone is calling me. Um, $10. For a total of 20, 40, 50, 60, and 70. My son is currently taking his nap, so that's why it's film time, filming time. And I am definitely behind on the videos that I want to make. Um, but, you know, I'm tackling this one video at a time. That's all I can do. So fun is going to get five. For a total of 20, 40, 60, and 70. So my sister, I don't know if I mentioned it last week, she's 17. She got her first job and I'm initiating her on the cash envelope system. So stay tuned guys, because I'm going to make a budget of a 17 year old high school student. Um, so stay tuned for that. We're going to share some tips and what her goals are. Yearly is getting five. I think a lot of my categories this week are getting five because I wanted to focus on school and the car. Um, so yearly has a total of 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 120, 130, 135. Then my hubs is gonna get 10. I've been looking for newer channels and I've been loving how many people are joining the financial community because I think this is the most supportive type of community on YouTube. <laughs> Hubby um, has a total of 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 220, 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 280, 290, 310. Date night is going to get five. For a total of 
100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220, 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 275. And then Christmas is going to get five. Every time I see all my sinking funds, I want to get rid of a couple of them. But then when I sit down and think about them hard enough, I, I don't take any off. <laughs> I don't know why. Christmas has a total of 240, 50, 60, 70, 85, 285. I think I'm gonna stop stuffing Christmas at the $300 mark because I have gotten a, a few gifts, especially right now, where I don't buy expensive things because my family doesn't, we don't, we just don't. Um, and there's a lot of young ones in my family, so you know, it's mainly toys or makeup products. <laughs> gifts is going to get... Is Gifts getting anything? I don't see it here. I don't think Gifts is getting anything. But it has a total of 110, 20, and 30. Okay, and then on to my last victim in here. savings so on savings I think I had put 300 yeah so that's another thing I was always thinking like oh you know most of my checks is going to my envelopes and I really want to focus on saving because let's say like medical has like $700 you know it has a purpose and yes the money is there but that's not really money going toward saving is going toward medical and same with these other categories, you know, when you add up all of your sinking funds, I'm like, oh, yeah, I have all of this money here. And I know that I can dip into those categories, but the money is already assigned for a purpose. So I want to start focusing more on savings, especially now that I want to, you know, close out the 20K challenge. So savings was going to get 300 And then... Um, the 20k challenge was going to get 200 so it's going to have take a total of 500 dollars and again i have this much money to put in because this week also has a lot of overtime that i'm grateful i can do um and whenever i start school that's not going to be the case as much so i'm doing it now so savings has i think 2k in the bank yeah 2k and now it has a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 1K there. So 1, 2, 300, 350, 370, 390, 400. Um, 410, 420, 430, 440, 450. So 1,450. 3,450. Oh, yeah so how are you guys I think September is a magic month I'm pretty sure it's a five week five Friday month I was watching um, random I, I keep like skipping the topics I speak about so I'm sorry if I'm like all over the place I was watching this channel I love this cash doffer. Her channel is called Monet's Money. And she was talking about her job and how um, I'm going to link her channel down below and how she didn't think that, you know, you could actually be happy with your job. And she talked about how leaving her job made, me, made her change her outlook in life. And, um, you know, it made me think a little. I don't think that often, but I started thinking about my job. I love my job. Don't get me wrong. 
the issue I'm having is that my job is not providing consistency as to what areas they're having me work and that is it's been challenging for me let me see if I find so for the 1k challenge I was planning to stuff $28 so I'm just doing 30 if I find it 28 I mean I can do 20 and a 9 And um, my job is pretty simple. I only work two days a week, but I don't like the lack of consistency because I like, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I am a visiting nurse. So I don't like when I can't have consistency because I cannot build a good relationship with my patients. I know that there are staffing issues everywhere, but I do want to be, to have some type of consistency, especially when I was hired, that was promised. And then... I've heard so many people that they have been able to get some type of grants or help with their studies through work. So if I could get a job that is not, you know, does not is not so time consuming or is willing to be flexible with me, and then I could also get assistance with school, that'd be great. Um, Cause I definitely. I used to work for DM everywhere. I wouldn't commit to an agency. School is getting the last 200 that I had there and then I have this five year, I don't know why. But um, <laughs> we'll figure it out. School has a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 1,000, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven hundred. Um, I wanna see, you know, what is out there and what options I have. I definitely don't want to take, I don't want to rush making a decision because last time I left my job because I was uncomfortable, I think I regretted it because that company, you know, the, the visits were um, not so complicated and they did provide consistency, but the workload was just not, how, how should I say it? I feel like I could, I was rushing. I was rushing all the time. I brought it up and my concerns were not addressed, so I just decided to leave. So I don't want this to happen again, but I have spoken to HR multiple times about the lack of consistency, and it stresses me because whenever I start school, I don't want work to be something that worries me. And yes, I'm putting my last five on dunks because I need it. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't want to take a rush decision, but at the same time, I am put in, in a situation where I am definitely not happy, and I have spoken to my supervisor in HR about it, and they uh, just keep asking me to hang on, and you know that they're trying, but I, I don't know. This is one of these those situations where I wish someone would tell me like. Okay, Alondra, just hold on. It's going to get better soon. Or no, girl, just leave because it's not going to get better. But anyways, enough ranting. I hope you guys are having a good day. Please share with me anything you want to share. I love to hear about you guys. I'm very grateful about all of you that come back to my channel and keep joining me in this crazy ride called finances in life. So I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh,